Okay, we're back with the last video in this series now. Up to this point, we've created a batch, showed you how to list your items, entered box contents after creating your shipments, and now we're in the final process, you know, of signing box contents, purchasing your shipping. And so for this last shipment, uh, you can see that nothing has been assigned yet. Uh, these are ready for carrier, ready to go, already printed their shipping labels. And so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and assign uh, box contents. We'll say we can assign six per box. So once I assign that, I have 25 left. So I'm going to again use my tool, copy the box. Again, I can only, if I only want to create one, I can do it that way or create as many as I want. I'd encourage you not to create so many boxes where you have to delete them because that will then cause some issues as far as numbering in Seller Central. So if you need a box, just create one. If you find you need another one, then create another. This process is very simple. In this case, we're going to copy the boxes. Again, it tells you how many you have with a remainder most likely. And we've created those, and now I have one left. So I need to create a box and then assign that one. In the last video, you note that all shipments had to be created before this is active. So you can see that this is now active. I don't need to use that though because I only have the one. So I'm going to transmit boxes and now uh, enter in my weight and dimensions. Again, partnered carrier is already selected and we're just waiting for the feeds to process. Okay, we now have success. So Amazon has accepted our box contents. I'm going to clear that out. And you can see we can now estimate the charges. So I'm going to do that. We've already gone over how to check your estimated shipping figures to see if those are correct. So I'm going to skip that, but I'm going to accept. And now my shipping labels have appeared in my downloads folder so I can print those. And you'll notice that once that's done for the last shipment in the batch, we automatically direct you to the closed batches under the list page. That's because you're all done with the batch. It's closed out. And so this is where we'll list all of the items in the batch. And you can then check details on the batch, such as if I want to know my price details. This will also tell you if you have min and max set or not. Um, but again, in the customer coaching classes, they'll go into detail on all of this. And now, uh, we're pretty much done. And so the next step is I'm going to go back to list and prep. All of our shipments are ready for carrier. Now we mentioned at the beginning about the 30 up label. So if you don't have a thermal label printer and now is the time when you need to print those labels, very easy to do. You come to your shipment you're ready to work on and click on it. It's going to automatically take you to Seller Central. Now you can paste in that shipment because it automatically copies it for you as well. And then it's going to display just that shipment. Then you want to work on the shipment. And here's where you're converting it to send to Amazon. Now, once you convert it, you can't make any changes. So be sure at this step. So we're going to convert it. It's going to make sure to confirm. And then we wait while Amazon processes and converts that shipment. And it'll take you to send to Amazon at this point. OK, here you have the shipment. Uh, everything is looks great. And now I can print box and shipping labels here as well if I want. If I need to print those item labels, I want to click in there. Here is where I would print all the SKU labels or M SKU labels. And so that's what you do. You just look into step one. So I'm going to close that. And so everything is done. Now if I wanted to cancel and cancel, confirm this page, I'm going to refresh. You'll see now I only have two because I canceled the one. So so I can go to the shipment by clicking here. It takes me right to the shipping queue, paste that in. And now I can work on that shipment. This one's already been converted. So what I want to do is cancel the shipment because I'm not going to send these out. I want to confirm and just cancel. But in your case, you would be sending these. This is just to go in to show you how to print your 30 up labels in case you don't have a thermal label printer. Uh, but I'm going to cancel these out. It's important to show you that. And that once they've changed their status from working, they do disappear once you click on the refresh button. 
Uh, eventually, they'll refresh on their own, but if you want to get rid of them right away, just do that. So I'm going to cancel this last one. Final step, clear that out of there. And there you have it. That's how you create a new batch, list your items in the batch, send those batch feeds to Amazon to get your shipping plans. And once you have your shipping plans, you can create your shipments. Make sure you do that within 48 hours. And then once those are created, you can enter your box contents and then purchase your shipping right through Inventory Lab. Simple process and it's all done without ever leaving the Inventory Lab application.